Welcome back to part 9 of my Tangle Hair game. In the previous part we were, you know, fighting to expand our land a little bit. I am planning on invading kingdom in this one. I, I was going to do this. I'm kind of thinking about doing Lithuania as well. Novgorod. It seems like I could get a lot of land from them, but it's, it's kind of, well, maybe I should. I'm not sure who I want to do the most. Actually, they're all they're all about the same. Uh, if we target Lithuania, we we control most of the area around the um, what is this? The Baltic Sea here, Baltic Sea, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking about doing that. It's gonna really break them up quite a bit, and then I'm sure that our vassals will eventually be able to like expand and take these little ones for us because I don't really want to have to do that myself. Uh, we could eventually just break this little kingdom up here by taking uh, the bulk of their land with a a different war. So I think I'm going to go for Lithuania, actually. Um, <laughs> the HRE is not looking that great. I wonder why this won't become his vassal. Uh, Flanders are still Norsemen over there, that's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's go for Lithuania here. He's actually kind of strong. He, what's he allied to Novgorod and Kazaria? Uh, we're allied to Kazaria, so I'm going to have to be sure to call him first. <clears throat> Sometimes your allies, if they're allied to your target, won't join your war, so he might actually not help me. Um, it's a 5k troop swing. It's actually kind of scary a little bit. I might just let my gold get up a little bit first here instead, just in case this war is a little bit more serious than I'm anticipating, uh, which is entirely possible. I've had an awful lot of sons recently. I kind of dismissed a couple of our concubines because they were giving us too many boys. So, uh, you know, I'm not anticipating my character dying anytime soon. He's 45, but... This is extremely messy. If my heir is marrying this guy's daughter, then he better not join a war against me, that's for damn sure. I can... who's this? <laughs> Why can I challenge this pregnant 28-year-old drunkard? Gold? Okay. She's got seven prowess. This is going to be embarrassing if I lose. Oh, she said no. Can I do it again? What's going on here? Oh, we're fighting her champion or whatever. Rawr. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that. There we go. Justice is served. I'm not sure exactly what she did wrong. Um. Okay, who are you attacking? Who is this? This guy. Okay, he's attacking in the other direction. Uh, I'm actually going to join it. And the reason for that is, I don't think that he can join a war with Lithuania on the other side. If he's in a war on my side on one. I could be wrong. But, like, if we're fighting on the same side in one war, I don't think we can fight on opposite sides in another war. So there's no way that Lithuania can call him as an ally, I believe. He might still not join my war because he's allied with Lithuania. I can almost say that. He, he's still not, he still might not join my side, but he for sure won't join Lithuania's side, at least. Uh, he might get kind of pissed off if I don't go there and help him, though. Okay, he should, he should win that easily, though. I'd be attacking this guy first. He's just got like an enclave inside your empire. Not sure what he's thinking. Okay. Our actual wife is pregnant again. She gave us one son who's sickly. If I can get a son with intelligent, I'd be very tempted to play him. Although my firstborn is almost 15, and there's like four other sons in the line of succession before this guy, so... Not 100% sure how that's going to work out. Uh, I'm most likely just going to have to play through this guy. He's quite good anyway. He's got a trade as well. Okay, so 
let's grab pedagogy here. I'm gonna get know thyself. I'm probably gonna get open minded. Yeah, I might spend actually a decent amount of time. I might go down and get scholar here. Might just stay in learning until my character passes away, actually. So his capital's kind of far. I can't just go in there and siege him. Raise my sons. What's he going into? Stewardship, diplomacy. Okay. So how did he turn out? He didn't get a very good education, unfortunately. Oh, what's going on here? Holy fire. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe we'll just let that pass. Okay, so I'm going to stop this guy from being a knight. Oh, wow, there's a lot of guys I can recruit here, actually. We should get them. I certainly got enough gold, too, anyway. I don't really have a good job that we can give him. I guess we could just make him almost anything. Court tutor? No. Anything a little bit cheaper? Seneschal? Yeah, that's probably useful. He's not fantastic at it, but he's at least okay. Uh, and then she's joined our court. Will, will you convert? Okay, let's just see. She's probably going to go back to her dad's court, unfortunately. I don't think there's much I can do about it. I will make her my cup bearer for now. So what's going on here? This guy, he's got one kingdom title. Oh, apparently he recovered. He's an obese drunkard, but he managed to beat his little disease that he had. Lithuanian Dancing Plague. Uh... I'm not sure if I'm ever going to actually do these legends. I'm kind of over them. Okay, of course, my sixth son or whatever this is has intelligent. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play him, though. Okay, I, like, we have about 500 gold. I think this should be enough, just in case we need to hire some mercenaries or whatever. Uh, so let's just go for this now. Invade Kingdom Lithuania. This seems like a pretty great war. I want to be able to attach my land like this, have everything around the sea here. It shouldn't be too difficult to do. It's really unfortunate I had to give up my subjugation war on this character. Not sure what these hostile armies are here doing. <laughs> I, I guess this is the faction that he's at war with. Oh, is it one of his vassals? Yep. Okay. I don't think we'll get there in time. Oh dear, 22% we get melancholic, or we take a lot of stress. Uh, okay. We actually lost stress. And where's his army? Oh, I forgot to actually call my ally. Is he willing to come? He is. Is he going to? His war is almost done, so I'm sure he'll actually come. 750. That's pretty expensive, though. I would really like to get his capital, but I'm not sure the best way to go about that is... Certainly a lot of random armies here. Would you like to fight? Guess not. So what's his plan? His plan is just siege. Siege my land. Seven months. Okay, so we'll grab this and then we'll go back there and fight him. Uh, and then maybe I'll just walk over to his capital and see if we can't win. What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. Um, 
So these counties are getting us 6.7% each. It's not very much. We're going to have to siege an awful lot of them down. <clears throat> I guess it is a uh, Invade Kingdom war, but still. Ivar is going to live. Uh, I was actually kind of hoping that he wouldn't. What is our thing doing here? Okay, nine development. We need one more. We need ten development in our capital to eventually feudalize. It's actually quite a few troops. First sunlight? Not familiar with this. Frozen lands. Uh, okay, so we get sunlight speech, supply duration and army toughness for four years, and we lose a bit of stress, or martial and st less stress gain. That's cool. I don't think I've ever gotten this one before from Wards and Wardens. Um. Supply duration? Army toughness? Uh, is my marshal doing much for us? Not really. I guess a little bit. Okay. Apparently his army is all coming in here. And how many troops are we going to lose if we walk over here? Oh, just this one. 859, though. Uh, my army is going to be starving soon anyway, so I'm just going to go for the capital. Let's just put this on Manage Royal Guards. So, he gets diligent as well. So we're hoping these two have kids. Uh, the sooner they do that, the easier it's going to be for me to work on my succession here, because I don't want to get kids removed from the line of succession and then something happens to my heir, and then maybe... Um, I need to end up playing one of these guys. I'm not really sure the exact, the, the best way for me to be getting them out of the line of succession. When I have a million of these kingdom titles, it's kind of annoying. I can always result to just deleting the kingdom titles and then remaking them on each character. Uh, and then I just kind of let them inherit a few random counties or duchies or whatever I happen to have. This random army just raises up when I'm in the middle of walking towards the battle that I actually want. Not sure why that needed to happen. Am I actually going to lose this? Okay, my army is in trouble. Oh, is he going to get here in time? Uh, even if I lose the battle, it's not the end of the war. It's kind of annoying. It's just because my army's starving and he's got more knights and more men-at-arms and stuff like that. He finally came over here. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to lose this battle, but I, I think I'd rather just take the loss on the battle and then continue to fight rather than uh, just hire some mercenaries. It's kind of annoying. Oh, and now you're going to leave. Okay, buddy. Walked all the way over here just to do nothing. Um, yeah, we lost quite a few troops there. We're, we're still going to be okay. We're going to be able to win it. It's just kind of annoying. What are we doing here? I, I don't think I want to go and fight him like that. Even though I have double his number, he's still kind of strong. What do I end up doing here? I think I'm just going to disband. We're already starving, and we need to let it heal up a little bit here. If they siege a little bit of stuff back, it's not the end of the world, because we still have a massive lead on war score. Uh, it's just kind of obnoxious. I think that they have some kind of unique units too, don't they? These guys? Uh, Lithuanian. Are they like, good at fighting here? Forest Wardens. Oh, they have Metzenvartia as well. Yeah. Forest fighter commander trait. So our daughter's of age, we can go and get an alliance with someone. This is actually a lot of uh, 
Jewish Jewish faith characters. Uh, pretty much everyone Norse is in our realm, so that's why there's no Norse people here. This guy's just like one of the big dukes here, I guess. Um, he's in a war, but whatever. Oh, what's this? Oh, this happened again. I join the war and then they just start sieging my land, the stupid Northman army. Like, this should really not happen. That's ridiculous. He's an Asatru Norseman and he just starts sieging my land. Uh, and of course, like, this guy walked his troops here and then walked all the way back to defend against this war and then the troops don't even go to his land. It's really kind of annoying. I, I guess I should have just said no. Uh, whatever, I'm already stuck in a million wars anyway. What's one more? Okay, let's just raise this back up. I'll go and fight him again before we're starving. Who are you? What are you doing? All these random armies always end up helping the AI. <laughs> Trying to siege the stuff that I've already taken. It's kind of obnoxious. Okay, so he's going for the capital again. I'm just going to grab this and then march over there and fight him. Craven? Oh no! Craven Shire Paranoid. Well, whatever. What did I just get? Prize ring? Oh, not even very good. Apparently I have some stuff here. Where are you going? Just come here and fight me. Ooh, our champion ripped the head off someone. Okay, 71%. We only lost 13% war score on that one, so not not too big of a deal. The like this is stupid that they're doing this. This is really dumb. It shouldn't work that way. Like their entire goal is to get this and then they just attack me instead when we're both Norse. It's really ridiculous. Um Ambitious, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and walk my army over there because this guy, he just is so useless, man. Like, what's he even doing? Doesn't help me in my war, doesn't help me in his war. What are all these armies doing here? Okay. Lithuanian cabinet. Took your cabinet. Okay. And then there's always some random hostile army sieging the stuff that I already have. So I have to go and fight them as well, even though I, I don't even know who this is. I don't know why they're at war. Okay. Finally won that. Uh, starting to look pretty healthy here. There's certainly a lot of little land here that I need to get, but we're making good progress. I need my army to come over here now. We're gonna have to give some of this stuff away. I guess we can start giving this to our sons. The, the main problem is all the kingdom titles. They're all set to inherit. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we have another empire title now that we can make. Okay. But they're all set to inherit uh, different kingdoms because we have so many of them. Okay, 
I finally finish up with this one war. Uh, the other one, we're not going to go and help. So forget that. Okay, so now the problem becomes we have two empire titles available to us. So it's going to automatically get created if we don't create it. So we're probably just going to have to end up like disinheriting a bunch or whatever. Like I'm, I'm going to have to figure something out because I can't let my land split up between two empires. I don't really feel like going through that. Let these guys out. Okay, so you guys are all... Sorry, kid. Uh, usurped, so we can take that kingdom title now. Whoop! And then let's create our other empire title as well. And then again, all these guys are not our religion, so they're not going to want to join. They're all Catholic or Slovian skin or these like Vital Vitalist Ukonusko. Yeah. So no one wants to become our vassal unless they're Norse. I'm still planning on coming out here to England eventually. Well, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it anymore at this point, because I, I feel like I have a lot to expand over this direction. That's kind of annoying. Um, is this just actually a random pneumonia? Uh, it's not from a plague. So yeah, I just randomly got pneumonia. So my character <laughs> might die here. Um, yeah, that really sucks. Do I have the renown to disinherit all of these guys 150 in theory 300 and then another 300 for the other two it would take me 600 renown sometimes this goes up in price i'm not sure how, like what determines it i'm gonna lose a lot of prestige no excuse me not prestige uh legitimacy doing this we can always re-inherit if we need to uh, is that everyone, or is there just some not listed here? So one, and then one, two, three, four, and then five. Oh, okay, there's actually two more behind them, too. Jeez, I didn't realize that. Uh, well, I can't disinherit six, and no matter what, I need... Someone's going to be getting the second, unless I disinherit all of them. The other option would be we disinherit four, and then we, like, imprison two of them, but even then, they... You know, it's it's very messy. So I think that I'm just going to let it play out. Unless I can disinherit everyone, there's no point. So if something happens here, because my character might die, he's, he's near death. Not only poor health, but near death. So it's a pretty good chance he just dies. Uh, we're going to have to go to war with our brother. Try to, like, reunite the empire. He's going to get just the stuff on this side, so it's not too bad. I think I'm just going to give all this land to randoms. Oh, I'm in a war now again. Can we just white piece this? I don't feel like raising my army. The AI should be more inclined to give their war up once they're going to war with someone much more powerful than them, I think. So, I'm just going to give all this away. I was going to give it to some of my sons, but I don't want my son, if he ends up getting this empire title. I don't want him to be super powerful by having all this land himself, so... I think we'll just give it to randoms instead. So we can hold six. I think I'll just hold on to the same ones that I had before. Okay, there we go. Someone's got a duchy title over here. I might have gotten some vassals from that war, I'm not 100% sure. 
Oh yeah, we did. Okay, let's try to convert people if we can. Oh, this is really messy now. I'm sure over time those. Why is this 13 year old zealous? <laughs> Give me a break. Okay, now you're a zealous Asatru. Welcome to the good side. Oh, this guy's just annoying. Why are they all zealous? Oh yeah, they have the strong believers, right? Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, kind of chill out here. I'm not going to declare any wars, obviously, while my character is like this. Oh. We lost pneumonia. Alright, that's good. I am kind of interested in not having any more children. Do I stop gaining weight? It's going to make me again be malnourished eventually because of inapetic over time. We don't always need to be gaining weight. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. I'm gonna, I, I want restraint right away because I want to stop uh, getting sons right now. I already have quite a few. I'd rather not disinherit a bunch of them, but just when I have multiple... Screw you. When I have multiple Empire titles, uh, I, I don't want my land to get split up. So I'm probably just going to end up disinheriting pretty much everyone. So what else can we do here? Make some duchy titles. Yeah, four duchy titles, whatever, that's not a big deal. They nicknamed me the Brave. Okay. I definitely need a new physician, though. Terrible and poor. Are you joking? Okay, so we could give it to this person. She actually does have the novice physician trait. She's okay at it. And then what's going on here? My millions of sons. So he's getting two kingdoms too. Like, that's really frustrating. I'm hoping that I don't have to actually go to war with these guys. This poor bastard is just being absolutely picked on. Gimme. Okay. Restraint. That's what we wanted. Okay. No more kids. No more kids. We're done with the kids. We got enough. We're 52. We're feeling fine. Um. So this is the one here that I actually want to end up raising. Because uh, if we're going to disinherit everyone anyway then we can at least make the choice on whether we want to play this guy or whether we want to play our heir, because they're the two with the decent traits here. So this guy's fine for now. Um, but if... Val... Biofer? I, I don't know how to say this. If this kid actually ends up getting good traits, then I, I probably will end up just favoring him instead. He'll be a little bit younger, and then also... Uh, he's got intelligent, which I do think is actually better. If I'm disinheriting everyone anyway, then I can just pick which one I want to play. This is completely different than Feudal Crown Authority. You can't designate an heir. Yeah. And how are we doing here? I can definitely reform. Oh, nice! We almost have onagers. That's going to help us a lot when we're expanding. Raise control, and then where's the last one that I actually hold? This one, okay. Yeah, it's going pretty good. I still want to take this over, and I would like to at least take out these little factions here. 
We're going to go to war with Novgorod, almost certainly. Uh, maybe my next character. They're tribal as well, I believe. So, like, eventually... We, we can't do it on this character because we wasted our subjugation war, unfortunately. But on our next character, we can use the subjugation war on Novgorod. And that's going to make our empire absolutely massive if I end up doing that. So I think that that's going to be a really good one. Uh, and then we can use our second invade kingdom here. Or maybe we can use it to, like, go to war with the HRE. Because I would like to fight at least one war with them. Uh, this is just not really worth it right now, though. So England might have to wait. I do still kind of want to get this stuff over here. I haven't actually gone and gotten Iceland. Oh, there's two duchies here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, they have this land over here, too. I got you. <laughs> really? That's so interesting. Uh, okay. And then, like, this duchy here as well. Um, we'd have to go to war with Scotland for it. But it's a part of our capital kingdom, so I, I feel like I should probably go and get it. Uh, but yeah, if we can get Novgorod, now we're kind of bordering it on two different sides. That's going to be a really nice war for us. On the next character anyways, though. I am going to be continuing this on in the next part. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one.